There we go. Another thing to add to the shortage. And if you didn't think there was enough, we're adding vegetables. And uh, Bridget, you were able to find a little bit more detail about this vegetable shortage because I know that it was a couple of grocery store chains and I forget the one but I know that Aldi was one of them and they were putting a restriction on how much you could buy and I believe it was tomatoes cucumbers and uh, I don't peppers. Know, peppers okay let's just stop with the shortage because it's like using the word bomb cyclone it's just there for drama okay so let's think about it this way when you are looking at what's happening in the European countries, and should I not call it bomb cyclone drama, by the way? Am I supposed to use that as like a real term? You guys gave me a funny look. I mean, a bomb cyclone. <laughs> that, that's why we had the funny look. Uh, okay, because <laughs> you missed your chance to give you that did. up. Okay. <laughs> so when it comes to what's going on in those European countries right now, who controls all that access or a lot of the access that's been going on with natural gas in Europe? Russia. Ooh, yes. Yep. The whole Russia Ukraine thing has put a lot of people on pins and needles, even home heating, that they haven't been able to get natural gas, which is what would normally at this time of year be heating greenhouses where they'd be raising these fruits and vegetables, well, particularly the vegetables, like we mentioned, mm -hmm. so that there's still demand, but you don't have supply. So when we say shortage, I think it's a spot outage situation where you might not get what you want right now, or as you saw, maybe your limited production amount. And that's simply because it's based on global demand. And also North Africa, there are some African countries over there that do raise some tomatoes. They've had a lot of disruptions in their supply chain, but also they've been dry. I mean, it's Africa. Isn't it always a drought over there? Am I wrong, guys? Yeah. Some place, most places. So I, I think it has a lot more to do with energy mm -hmm. than it really does that we're running out of food at this point. And supply chain is all about logistics. Right. Well, the other thing with it too, I mean, we're, we are in off season right, we over are. here in the United States, even though they grow year round in California area South. I mean, it's, it's still off season. Do you know one of the largest tomato growing areas is actually in Illinois? Really? Yep. I had no idea. Red gold tomatoes. Dean, that's where you're from. Mm -hmm. And they don't, they're what not part exactly, of Illinois? Uh, we'd have to go look at a map for me to tell you for sure. I just okay. know red gold is there as well as um, like a festival that raises squash for, mm -hmm. for our pumpkin pie filling. Well, they're not planting right now. So those crops just yep. aren't in the ground. They're not growing. So do you foresee this being a short-term thing I, and kind of spotty? I do. And let's face it, everybody needs something fun to talk about. So if you're a worldwide news organization, the word shortage, especially post-pandemic, seems like a great way to get people's attention, doesn't it? Right. Well, especially if you add it on to groceries, right. vegetables. Be you think that's not a fiasco enough with the prices well, and right, eggs? Price. Yeah, I'm way more concerned about pricing situations for most folks. I mean... What we all used to spend at the grocery store, I know that the overall inflation number is supposed to be like 12%. Mm -hmm. I'd say it's a lot higher well, than that. It's oh, yeah. definitely higher Just than 12%. look at what you've been spending. It's gotten high. And for heaven's sakes, beer has been high. You know, I noticed that too when I stopped at the store. And usually my suitcase runs me about $22. And now it's about 27 Part of that is apparently alumni, excuse me, alumni, aluminum and packaging. They still have a, aluminum, like cinnamon. Yes. And they haven't caught up with all of those packaging goods yet. Mm -hmm. I mean, remember right away when the mm -hmm. pandemic started and people were worried about cardboard. I, you know, I, at the time I worked for a company that couldn't get cardboard to put product in to ship out because everybody was sending stuff home. So there's still some of those outages that can happen. It's really weird. Uh, 